I've had this idea in my head for so long, I just decided to go for it, and this is my female gender bender of Credence from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, shifting into his obscure form. So without further ado, let's get started. I've gone ahead and already implied my general foundation. This is just my normal skin color, so yeah, there's that. Once you have your general foundation down, go ahead and start contouring around your face. You can either mimic his face structure or kind of just work with your own. I mostly worked with my own, but hollowed out my cheeks a little bit more. You can keep your eyelids completely bare. I just added a little bit of my own skin tone to the top, so everything kind of blended in a little bit better. I'm then just filling in my eyebrows really nice and dark and making sure I keep them pretty thick to kind of mimic his. Eyebrows, I have some eyebrows, nice looking eyebrows, because of eyebrow, brows. Now, Credence looks pretty upset most of the time, so I want to make sure that my eyes looked really kind of dark, sunken, and red, and irritated like I've been crying. So I'm going in with a dark brown first and kind of adding that to my lower lashes before going in and dabbing it around the outside of my eyes to kind of give that kind of bruised appearance. After that, I'm putting on some red liner to make my eyes look irritated like I've recently been crying and doing the same with that same red and tapping it onto the top. I'm taking a nice fluffy brush and going in with some dark gray and tapping that around my face in a cloud-like pattern. This is going to give me my smoke outlines. If things are looking a little too patchy, make sure you blend them out. If you're wondering why my wig looks completely insane, it's because I wanted one side to look like the Obscurious is taking over and pulling away from my face. So that's why the hair is crazy on the one side and I'm making sure I focus all my smoke on that side of my face. I wanted to leave the other side really clean and blank as I wanted to show that normal Credence side kind of mimicking his own hair with my hair. I'm now just taking a nice fluffy brush and blending all that out. Now I'm going in with black and darkening up some areas. I wanted to give some more depth to this and really kind of give that interesting texture that smoke kind of has. So go in with some black and add it where you think looks best. To give this some good direction and not just make it look like a marble effect, I'm now going in with some black body paint and a really fine detailed brush and adding kind of that wispy trail that smoke really has. You can kind of go crazy with this and I made sure that I didn't keep dabbing my brush into my paint. I'd let it run out on the brush and it would give me these really light tendrils which kind of mimic smoke which is really cool. You're always welcome to freehand it and do whatever you want, just kind of like I'm doing here. But if you are having difficulties with this, you can always look at the reference picture and try to mimic that movement you're seeing on screen. Make sure you add that onto your neck as well. So that black body paint has really absorbed the cloud structure we put underneath. So I'm going back over with a dark gray and sometimes black and adding that over the top of the lines. This is going to kind of help smoke everything out, <laughs> pun intended, and to help make those lines look a little less stark. I'm then following up that with some of that gray eyeshadow around my face in the places I kind of feel like it needed it. So darkening my eye, putting some around my nose, kind of breaking up the two faces a little bit more and help differentiating them a little. After that, I'm taking some black body paint and adding that to the side of my face, focusing near my hair as I want my transformation to be almost seamless there. So you're not noticing that my skin is disappearing on that one side. I'm then going in with my disgustingly dirty sponge and going in with the black body paint and dabbing that around my face. Since the Obscurus is really particle based, if you see the CGI, it's very particle-y but kind of smoke-like and doing this is going to give you that instant particle effect. After that, I'm going in with some white body paint and adding it as a highlight to some of my smoke elements. I'm not going too crazy as I want this to stay pretty dark. To keep your face a little more consistent, go ahead and darken up your contours on the other side. Now, you could stop at the sponge texturing, but I wanted to add some larger particles to kind of show that element a little bit more. So I'm just taking my fine brush and dabbing bigger ones in certain areas around my face. Now, 
add any last minute details you would like and you're done. You are now your own Obscurus. I think this idea is so fun as a cosplay. I'm sure someone somewhere has done it and has done it better. But I'm really jazzed with how it turned out and I look forward to readdressing this in the future with maybe some FX makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you back here again. Bye bye! Thank you.